There has been a major attempt this week to get at two of the nation's most notorious street gangs. Hundreds of federal agents in 11 states have launched a coordinated attack on the Crips and the Bloods. Over the past two days, more than 160 members of the gangs which were spawned in Los Angeles have been arrested. They're said to be deeply involved in much of the nation's cocaine traffic. U.S. law enforcement officials made high publicity sweeps aimed at violent street gangs today, gangs that now operate from state to state and deal drugs. Ron Allen has our report. Federal agents put out a dragnet attacking what they say is an emerging form of organized crime. Street gangs, based in Los Angeles, but spreading their influence across the country. Gang members charged with trafficking in drugs and violence. We've targeted the Crips and the Bloods largely because of their violent history of involvement in numerous murders and drive-by shootings across the country. The exportation of the drugs and violence uh, by the Crips and the Bloods has gone into uh, about 69 cities throughout the country in 32 states. In Tacoma, Washington, the reputed leader of the local Bloods chapter was arrested. So were gang members in Portland, Oregon and St. Louis, Missouri. Nearly 200 people in nine states have been arrested on federal drug and weapons charges that often carry mandatory jail sentences. It's a high-profile operation. Agents and vehicles flown in by military jet from Washington to Los Angeles, where most of the arrests were made. Reporters and photographers were invited along. It's called Operation Street Sweep, but residents of gang-infested neighborhoods were not impressed. I'm surprised to see a whole army come to bust one little funky rock house. I mean, if they're going to have to use this many police to bust every rock house in the neighborhood, we can't afford it. I thought they were making a movie out there with so many cameras, I saw. Federal authorities insist this was not a publicity stunt, but another pitched battle in their war on drugs. Ron Allen, CBS News, Los Angeles. A big crackdown on street crime and street gangs. Federal agents fanned out on city streets today and arrested more than 160 gang members. Most of the action took place in Los Angeles. NBC's James Polk is there. It is a deadly mix. Gangs, guns, and drugs. So violent it means a murder a night in Los Angeles. But two of the toughest gangs, the Bloods and the Crips, are now the targets of federal firearms agents. The Crips and Bloods have staked out a significant portion of the cocaine trafficking business in this country. In a very public show of force, the firearms agency, ATF, staged raids in almost a dozen states, arresting close to 200 suspects. In Los Angeles, at crack houses run by gang members. In Portland, Oregon, at this drug house, seizing both cash and cocaine. In St. Louis, where this man, once a licensed firearms dealer, was charged with selling as many as 300 guns to gang members. I really don't know what's going on. What did you think when they came in the door? I thought they were here. Hell, it's Gang members have outgrown the cheap pistols, once part of street crime. These days, they carry sawed-off shotguns and submachine guns. Los Angeles had more than 400 gang-related murders last year, both victims and killers often in their teens. But now carrying a gun while dealing drugs is a guarantee for prison time. That's a five-year minimum mandatory sentence. No probation, no parole. You're gone. But with up to 100,000 gang members in the Los Angeles area, today's raids may not mean much. When you pick up all these guys off the street, put them in jail, it does nothing. Most of these fellas run a lot of their stuff from the jailhouse. At best, this is only a small beachhead in the war on drugs, and even that will be hard to hold. James Polk, NBC News, Los Angeles.